Hi everyone, welcome back to Rotor Dynamics 101. Today, we'll dive into the internal alignment in stim turbines. This is a crucial process to keep everything running smoothly and efficiently. So, how do we align the parts in stim turbines? Here are key steps to follow. First, select a cylindrical reference point, typically the oil seal fit on the both pedestals. Then, establish a center line between the two pedestals. Next is to measure the seal diameter at each critical point. Then overlay the measured data onto the nominal design specs. And finally, evaluate any deviations, such as looking for misalignment, clearance inconsistency, and round conditions. Here is an example of how to check alignment data. The vertical axis, zero, represents the alignment center line, and each dot represents the measured locations. Here is the graph highlight the front pedestal is tilted, which the data points is significantly off from the center line, which data points is largely off from the center line zero. So why does this happen? The turbine casing is fixed at the exhaust end D. The front pedestal A and the lower casing are connected by flexible plates to allow the thermal expansion. After the operation and during the cooldown, pedestal A should slide back to its cold position, but external force prevented from sliding, causing the pedestal to tilt and misalign. So what's the impact of misalignment? Misalignment can cause vibration issues, bearing wear, reduced efficiency, component damage. To fix this issue, a 0.1 millimeter adjustment was made to the bearing pedestal to correct alignment. Once the shaft is placed on the bearings, the next step is to perform radio clearance checks. This is a vital process to ensure all components are properly aligned and to check there's enough clearance to prevent interference during operation. That's all for today. I hope this video clarifies turbine alignment. Got any questions or thoughts? Please drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.